We just did a studio makeover featuring our Flexi Spot desk, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting a makeover. Actually, it's a studio makeover. We're going to give you a little peek behind the curtain. This place is a disaster. Shambles. And you want to know why? Because I have two messy men that work in this space. Tanner what? doesn't care. It's a mess back there. Garrett doesn't care. It's a mess back here. So we're going to take it all out. We're going to put in some organization and we're going to bring it back. But in the process, we want to do, we're going to switch from this side of the studio to that side and give our backdrop a little bit of a makeover. Step one, we're going to clean it out. We're going to remove everything out of this space, maybe 90% of the stuff out of the space. And then really give you that peek behind the curtain of what it really looks like behind this camera or even behind this desk, really. It's... <laughs> Or on the sides, it's kind of out of control. Is don't judge. Let's clean it up. <laughs> Let's clean it up. I mean, cleanup was really easy, Kim. I mean, yeah. There's was, that wheel of DIY. We'll get that out of here. It'll it'll come back. Don't worry. <laughs> Look at these crazy desks. All those tripods, I do not want to see them again. All that wood that was around the desk, it's been there for a couple of months. So, well, you see a nice view behind us you can't tell what's on the floor around us i gave it a quick sweep get all the big stuff up yeah there was a lot of a lot of little <laughs> like, mdf pieces laying around yeah. <laughs> step two we're going to install the pegboard on the other wall that was our old studio this is going to be our new studio we're going to install this pegboard you saw last week how we make our pegboard we seem to be on a pegboard kick uh -huh. We're going to rip this board down at a 45, creating a French cleat. We're going to attach one side of this to the wall, and then the other side to these pegboards, and we'll hang it. Kim's miming everything. That's great. <laughs> we filmed that last piece without Tanner. Yeah, I was at lunch, and they took matters into their own hands. <laughs> but, but that was Kim who focused the camera. Well, I was helping. Next step, we're gonna hang these pegboards using our cleat, but we've gotta attach our cleat to studs. Now, I know there's a lot of trash talk about TikTok, but look at the <laughs> hack I just learned. These are metal studs. You can do this at home looking for nails instead of studs. For us, it's super easy because we have metal studs. I have this magnet here, and I can run it along the wall. I think it's this way. And it'll tell me exactly where the stud is. Oh, there's another stud. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, look, it sticks. <laughs> Stuck right to you, babe. <laughs> We're going to bring the lasers back, but before that, we're going to bring the tables back. We're going to bring them back from the other side. Right, they're still on the other side, so we used to have our lasers in the room we were filming in, and we chose to put them out front, but we, well, one, they are sometimes loud. We can't run them while we're doing a workshop, so we've decided we're going to put them back in our filming studio here, so one, we can run them and be out front. And then two, they're in they're visible during our videos. Step four, getting everything off of the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, so the filming desk was loaded with all kinds of accessories. And then around the filming desk were probably five or six tripods. So with this new Flexi Spot desk that they've sent us, a little more about this desk. This is the Flexi Spot E1 standard standing desk. Assembly was pretty easy. It was just probably about 12 Allens. You know, half of it was already put together for us. Here we're attaching it to the 60 by 35 desktop. That's big desktop. 
And I really like these dual monitor arms that clamp to the desk. That way I have more desk space. I don't have to put them on their stands. I can put them anywhere I want. It's like a robot. We've added the under desk drawer and the clamp power strip. And we also have the bamboo monitor stand right there. I'm going to use it as a shelf for the cameras. And I like that I can hit one button and it's down to edit height. I can hit the other button and it's automatically back up to filming height. And look at that. Look at all the cables are gone. It is so clean looking. Yeah, these are memory features. So you can press it up and down or like we just demonstrated. These are super affordable. You can find the link in the description. Go Step five. We're going to bring back the craft table, our workspace. I mean, it's... I feel like a little kid. I should run around in a circle. That's how much empty space we have right now. so much space. I'm <laughs> sure it's very echoey. <laughs> We're just going to bring the table back in and line it up underneath the overhead camera. Step six. Now we add the accents. <laughs> We're going to start putting our past projects on this pegboard back here. Start hanging some of our door hangers, maybe the Wednesday that we did a print and cut with, the acrylic pieces that we just did. Yeah, we're thinking we'll this is a way them. to showcase some of our recent projects. So that's what we're going to try and do back here on this wall. Yeah. All right. Let's start hanging stuff. Step six is actually going to be a part two. We have big plans for these sound panels. We tested it out. We can sublimate on these, but our large format sublimation printer is a little bit out of service. We haven't used the ink in a long time, and so it we're going to have to and dusty. <laughs> so we got to dust that thing off to really make these 12 by 12 panels work. So this is going to be a part two, but we're really excited to put a whole mural up full mural on that wall using these 12 by 12 panels. Like a detailed mural. It's going to be cool. And a big thanks to Flexi Spot. I am loving this desk. I love this desk. It is cleaned up so much. We've got rid of five tripods and it's all connected to this desk. The mess is gone and this is so much so much easier to look right. at. Right, and you know the great thing that we've learned, you know, as you set things up, you start to realize what you can do with it. There's memory settings on this, so we press number one, the desk raises so it's at a filming height, and the camera's attached to the desk. Press two, it lowers for work surface. And we're ready to edit. Yes. So I am stoked on it. I love the cable management. I love that the tripods and cables are gone. They are out of sight, out of mind. Maybe, hopefully, there'll be less technical difficulties. <laughs> and I really love this new display that we've got behind us. It really showcases all of the things that we do on our channel on a weekly basis. So uh, it brings oh, a little too. more color and a really, uh, it's it's an really opportunity to showcase past projects. Makes a little more sense about what this channel is about. And you can actually see the lasers behind us. We brought them back. We brought back the two lasers, so I don't have to leave the room to go actually do any cuts. They'll be all done on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> and I am about out of time, and so is Kim. So if you're not going to join us for the Patreon After Show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And did you know that we go live every Tuesday at 4 p.m.? <laughs> do a little uh, test cut, you know, a laser stuff.